Hey beauty pandas, are you ready to step up your daily routine? We've got you covered. Get excited to learn some stunning makeup techniques, hair hacks, and cool outfit designs that will help you out through the day. DIY hacks, here we go. Anna just came back from grocery shopping. With all that food in hand, I'm surprised she'd managed to get this far. Oops, spoke too soon. That was a clumsy entrance. No, no, no. Anna, you should stop tearing them apart. No worries, we'll figure something out and turn it into something magnificent. Let's flip it inside out. Cut off unnecessary tank top parts. Drop hot fabric glue around the cuts. Now fold back the edges. You'll want to take some time on this part and do the same thing on the other side. Almighty glue gun, what would I do without you? Glue the end of the back. Lastly, flip it inside out and you're done. Perfect, Anna came up with a durable and fancy looking handbag, which can be used not only for groceries, but looks great on its own. Bye bye plastic bags. Jessica is prepping for a rock concert. Anna's using eyeshadow to make her eyes pop. So far, so good. She'd like to take her look up a notch by adding some colored hairspray. Unfortunately, it looks like the can is completely empty, leaving her as a damsel in distress. But luckily for us, Jessica might actually be able to use the same eyeshadow powder to color her curls. Simply take a curl and glide the eyeshadow powder along the hair, repeating the process with all the colors in your collection. The best part is that it's just as easy to remove a spray. One shower and your hair will be as good as new. Lastly, in order to keep the powder in place, add some regular hairspray for shine. Those colored curls sure do make you look like a teen rebel. Jessica, it looks like you're ready for that punk rock concert. Emily has been waiting for her date for quite a while now, and finally, he shows up. Good job, Jacob. You haven't apologized or even acknowledged that you're late. You can keep moving that mouth, but we ain't listening, buddy. Rather put on something warmer instead. Jacob's scarf could get in handy though. Do you mind? Nope, all he cares about is himself and his stories at the moment. This date is not going well. Meanwhile, we're actually going to use a scarf to dress up. Drop the scarf over your hips, cross it and flip it over again. Now dive your hands inside the scarf and drop it over your shoulders, just like that. It looks gorgeous, Emily. Stay warm, girl. And for you, Jacob, we don't want to hear your excuses. And yes, she's keeping the scarf. Emily got a bit too invested in her game and her date is now waiting for her outside. Hurry up, girl. That hair is a mess. You can't go out looking like this. Jess, please help us out. Don't worry, Emily, relax. First, let's brush through the hair and put it up in a ponytail. We can use a chopstick to divide our ponytail into two parts. Connect the two ends using a hair tie and split the ponytail once again. Add another hair tie and this time, braid the remaining pieces. Lift up the braid and lock it in with a bobby pin. Remove the chopstick. We won't need it anymore. Lastly, add a small flower accessory. It's done! Amazing! Thanks, Jessica! You saved the day! Carmen is about to go out with the girls, and she wants to put on some colored eyeshadow to make her eyes pop a bit. But every time she applies some powder, some of it drops down onto her cheek. This process has become very annoying. I wish there was a better alternative than this a way to prevent the need to fix this over and over again. One wet wipe after another, and now she's completely out. Darn it. Let's check the makeup stash. 
Is there anything we can use? This leftover pad might be just what we need to prevent this mess from happening again. Simply bend it in half and cut a C-shaped section from the top. Remove the safety paper and stick them under your eye. Now feel free to add as much powder as you need and even do your eyelashes. Easy, no need to use those wet wipes anymore. Amazing, Carmen. You're looking splendid. Guess who's home alone watching Home Alone for the 20th time? You guessed it, all of us are. It's an amazing movie. It's just that Emily is a bit getting cold now and sofa plaid seems too worn off. Oh well, chop chop. Let's cut out a rectangular piece, add a layer of hot glue over the top edge and neatly fold it in half. Do the same with the shorter side. Fold it in half once again. Grab couple colored pieces of felt and crop out a desired face, mouth, and nose pieces. Stick the animated pieces to the scarf with some hot fabric glue. You're done. Well, hey, Emma. Where is your scarf, girl? It's cold outside. Did you leave it at home? Well, okay, luckily Emily prepared another scarf. All right, bestie, it's time to rob a bank. <laughs> Emily and Jacob are enjoying a late night horror movie. Although Emily doesn't find them scary, her hair begs to differ. And Jacob prefers his popcorn hair free. Did someone just lose their appetite? Emily's hair is all over the place. Various factors such as cold weather or headwear can cause your hair to go nuts. Grab a single wet wipe and place it over your hairbrush. Press the wipe down so that the bristles pop through. Now, simply brush through your hair as usual. The wet wipe will moisten your hair, putting all that chaos back to a sleeker state. A bit of moisture is just what you needed. Oh, here she comes. Let's get back to the video, shall we? Perfect. No more of that hairy mess we experienced before. Hey Jess, how are you? Oh wow. That necklace does look eye-catching, girl. Do you mind if we check it out? My bad, so sorry. Well, that happened. Nope, it doesn't look good. No worries, Emily knows a simple hack using a bobby pin. Just hook up the wool piece and dive it back. Emily managed to fix her sweater all by herself. You got me scared there for a second, girl. Anna is doing her hair for a gallery event she's having tonight. Maybe an old school twirled bun will do the trick. We'll just enhance it with a single blossom accessory, which might be a bit too much. How about a bow tie? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Sadly, it looks like the corner is quite dirty. No worries, we'll make our own bow tie instead. Grab all your hair and make a high ponytail. We'll need two hair bands to keep it secure. Wrap the hair bands around your ponytail once and stop halfway through the second one making a hair loop. Divide the loop into two sections and leave them. Braid the remaining tail by splitting it three ways. Back and forth, back and forth, there we go. Lastly, lift it between our loops to create a bow effect. Secure the whole look using a couple of bobby pins. Tidy up, and you're done. Anna is ready to turn some heads with her cute, elegant bow tie hairstyle. Good luck, girl! Hmm, what's this? Nephew's toys are all over the place again. Anna is going out with friends tonight and feels like her lips could use one final touch. Start with four evenly spaced yellow strokes on the front. Add some peach to the remaining spaces, but leaving just enough space for the blue and lastly, a sharp line of violet on the bottom middle lip. Time for some color magic. All of these colors are a bit too bright for the night. Why not blend all of them together? 
Use the lip brush and swipe across both the top and bottom lips to blend the colors to create a signature taupe color. Magnificent! It looks gorgeous, Anna. Mwah! And she's off. Just a typical day. You go through your daily makeup routine, eye shadows first. Oops, one mistake. It happens. Let's try the other eye. Hmm, it just doesn't seem right. Come on, girl, you can do better than that. How about the outline? A simple line around the lips. I think the morning espresso is giving you the shakes right now. How about the fill? This should be easier. Wow, you managed to mess it up also? This is totally not your day. Your makeup looks awful. Today is one of those difficult days that makes you want to cry and dive into some chocolate. One spoon after another. Chocolate is my best friend when it comes to brilliant ideas. Maybe just one more time. Let's do the pirate eye. Arr! By covering it with the spoon. This should prevent the brush from messing up the eyeshadow. There we go. So far, so good. Let's try it with the lips. We can also use the spoon to cover most of the lip for a precise contoured outline. This time, let's just focus staying within the lips and not go overboard. Brilliant, we're all done. Wait, what? Are those lipstick stains? All right, let's try again. I think we can use the spoon one more time in order to remove any excess lipstick. Sometimes a girl just needs a spoonful of chocolate to get back on track. Hey panda lovers, I hope you enjoyed these beauty hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.